Good morning. Oh, good evening, wherever this finds you. Anthony and Cheryl from Faith 5 with a Faith Bite for where you're at. Right now. Right now. We're so happy. At least I'm happy to be back with him <clears throat> on Faith Bite. Yes. He's been, been in the closet for getting, a while. Yes, yeah, so she and put me still in the closet now. And he's still in there, so I pulled him out for oh, today. Oh, my. Anyway, how is your hope today? Yes. How is your hope mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. Now, that verse that mm -hmm. we say all the time mm -hmm. about faith. Yes. Faith is the substance mm -hmm. of the thing that you hope for. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping for today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're hoping for today? Mm -hmm. If faith is the substance, mm -hmm. then therefore faith is really the mm -hmm. manifestation. Mm -hmm of what you have been hoping for. You mm -hmm. hoped for this and it happened. So so let's break it down for a few moments if we can, because you know when we say to ourselves, there is no hope in the situation. Things won't change. Wow. As I see, this is just the way life is. Mm -mm. This is earth runnings. This is the world system. Boy, as long as I've known myself, this is the way things are. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in the world is bad. Nothing can get better as long as we are saying these things. What you're saying to yourself is that there is no hope for any change. And when there is no hope for any change in my heart, or I don't believe in any hope, then I have no substance to guarantee that there will be any faith in me to believe God for any change. Wow. You've got to understand that for some people, there is always hope. And for other people, they just realize that there is no hope. Yes. So they get on with life just the way things are. But there are others who believe and have hope. So that's what I want to share with you today how important hope is. Because without hope, that's right. we won't have the substance of faith. And without faith, you cannot please God. Wow. So we're going down to the deep DNA of faith. Wow. Faith cannot survive where there is no hope. And hope can survive if you don't believe wow. in your heart yes. that what you experience, what's going on in this world, it can get better it can change it can change and in fact what's going on in this world guess what you're seeing it from your eyes all what the world and people, people are telling, are telling you. you so we're going he said deep a while ago mm -hmm. he always does that and mm -hmm. i try to bring him up a oh, bit oh, you oh, know oh. but the thing is is to be present to mm -hmm. where we are and the thing for me mm -hmm. this morning is what i want you to take away from mm -hmm. this is that it starts with me. Mm -hmm. The woman in uh, the, the woman in mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. that said, "If I could only touch mm -hmm. the hem mm -hmm. of his garment, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. I would be healed." Mm -hmm. She was hoping, mm -hmm. and so her hope mm -hmm. moved her mm -hmm. to do something mm -hmm. that became a manifestation for her. And then faith. That's right. Then faith in God mm -hmm. will arise because there is hope in my heart. Jeez. Take away any hope for change. Wow. You cannot have faith. And without faith, James says, you can't please God. But also you act on faith. That's right. Based upon your hope. Wow. So you must always be around people that have a hope that things can change. Yes. I'm not saying to you ignore reality. We're saying to you, if you have no hope, it doesn't matter what the Bible says. It doesn't matter what the scripture says or what people say to you. If inside of you, you are saying to yourself, nothing's going to change in my marriage. Mm. Nothing's going to change in my family. Mm. My finances are like this. My health cannot change. Then when you take away that, you cannot turn around and want to have a faith to believe God. That's why I love the scriptures in here where the man who for 38 years of his life, mm. I believe he was still hoping that one day, yes, right. one day an angel will show up, one day somebody will take me from the pool to the water, from the edge to the water. Yes. And Jesus comes up because Jesus can work with those of hope. The word showed up. Because yeah, remember, that's right. The word showed but up. Where there is no hope, the scripture can help you. That's right. Where there is no hope, the Holy Spirit cannot take the scriptures in my life and say, let that man get up yes. and get up. And Jesus said to the man, get up. And the man said, well, 
I can't get up there, but he had hope. That's right. How I know he had hope? Yes. Because you cannot have faith without hope. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to him, get up. And because Jesus told the man to get up. He just got up. 38 years. 38 years. <laughs> I believe hope can la outlast my circumstances. Yes. My situations. Yes. Caleb in the Old Testament. Mm. Joshua in the Old Testament. Come on. There is so many people that Abraham hoped and believed God. And one day the Lord came to him and said, a year from now. Wow. His wife said a laugh, but there's hope. There and where there is there. hope, faith can arise. Yes. And so today. Right now. Right now. Have hope. The question is. Yes. Where is, is your hope? hope. It was good to be with you. Yes. We don't want to be too long. There's another one coming this yes. week and possibly yes. he may be back in his closet. I I'm not know, too sure. Because <laughs> when I leave him, he goes into his closet. Mm -hmm. So. Amen. So I want to encourage you right now as, as, as we leave you. Stay in hope. That's right. Stay in hope. That's right. Don't let everybody's experience become your experience. Because this world is full of people who believe that they have a right to take away my hope. Mm. And without my hope, I can't have faith. And with faith, anything is possible. Be blessed. That's right. Be blessed.